Hello friends, I am Jant. I study in grade 5. Welcome to my channel Maths with Jant. I like to post math videos and I like to share the concepts to, with you. Today we are going to learn about expanded form and standard form. So now let's get started. So first we are going to learn about expanded form. What is expanded form? If we are given the number 785, we have to expand this number. And how will we expand the number? So first we need to find the place value of all the digits. If you don't know what is place value, then you can refer to my place value video. I will leave a link in the description. So now let's see. 7, the place value of 7 is 700 plus 8. So the 8 place value of 8 is 80 plus 5. So this is the expanded form of 785. Now we are going to find the place value of 705. So first we write 700 because that is the place value. Now over here. Even the place is tens. Let me just write the places ones, tens, and hundreds. So over here, zero. Even though it is in the tens place, but as there is a zero, so its value would be zero. So, but there is no need of writing zero. So we can directly write seven hundred plus five. So this is the expanded form of seven hundred five. Seven hundred plus five. So now let us try solving a few examples on expanded form. So the first number given to us is 4237. So we will write the place value of 4 that is 4000 plus 2. So the place value of 2 on this number is 200 plus 30 plus 7. Now we can move on to our second number 58,032. Let me just write the places. 1,000 and 5 is in the 10,000th place. So now 5. The place value of 5 is 50,000 as it is in the 10,000th place. Plus 8,000 as 8 is in the 1,000th place. Plus 0. 0 is not needed. So let's move on to the next number. That's 13 plus 2. So now this is 50,000 plus 8,000 plus 30 plus 2. That makes 58,032. Now we will move on to our next number. That is 71,419. Let me write the places. So now we can see that 7. 50,000 is the first number because a 7 is in the, the 10,000th place. Now, 1,000 plus 400 plus 90 plus 0. And as 0 is not needed, we don't need to write it. Now, let us know what our standard form is. What is our standard form? Sometimes we are given the expanded form and we have to find the number. And this is known as the expanded form. And once we find the number, what it is, the number is known as the standard form. So sometimes we are given the expanded form and we are asked to find the standard form. So let us try on the example right over here. Let's say if the number is 200 plus 40 plus 7. So first let's see how do we find it. 200. So we can this the hundreds please. So we will write from hundreds to ones. All the way. Now 240 and 7. So this is the same as 247. Let us solve a few more examples. Now, let us try a few examples for finding the standard form. So, let's take the first expanded form. 700 plus 20 plus 1. So, the biggest 
place is hundred. So let us write hundreds, tens and ones. Now seven comes in the hundreds place, two comes in the tens place and one comes in the ones place. So this number is 721. Now let's solve the next question. 2000 plus 30 plus 7. So the biggest place is the thousands place. So we can write thousands, then hundreds, then tens and ones. So 2000. So we will write two of here. 30, ones and tens. So the 3 would come in the tens place and 7 would come in the ones place. So can we write this as 237? No, because in hundreds also is a place. And as over here, there's nothing. We will just write to zero. And this is going to be 2037. Now let us try a last example. 40,000. This is the 10,000 place. And then we can write there thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. So we can see that 40,000 in that 4 would come in the 10,000s place. 7 would come in the 1000s place. 2 would come in the 100th place. And 6 would come in the 1s place. So what would come in the 10th place? 0. So now this is 47,206. Hope you understood X standard form and standard form. And how do you solve their questions? Uh, thank you.